Not sure how many of you have had the chance to read the long list of experts on crowdfunding presenters that we will have, we will hear over the next two days. However, it is an impressive and mix of entrepreneurs, government experts, and private sector expertise that is rare to find in the same place at any one time. Indeed, that concentrated mix of financial expertise and internet savvy is further enhanced by the many experts that we have in the audience here today. Before I go any deeper into my remarks, I would like to thank several individuals in the audience. I'd like to recognize Kwek Hong Sin, who is chairperson and founder of Phoenix, and whose passion in, oh, we'll go ahead. <laughs> and whose passion and drive is uh, the key reason we're all here today. Uh, Ms. Quek is also, was also one of the 20 financial experts who made up our Singapore delegation to the first ever Select USA Summit uh, event that happened in Washington last October. It was the first time we had, the US had ever held a conference to actively promote foreign direct investment into the United States, and we greatly appreciated her participation there. And we are currently working on developing the delegation for the 2015 event that is currently uh, unscheduled but will happen. Um, that is, that group will be organized and led by our effective team of specialists that are here at our U.S. Embassy in, in Singapore. I'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge those in the audience, uh, a couple of those experts today. Mr. Cha Suihun, Suihun, can you stand up? <laughs> I always like to say that I'm the pretty one and she's the smart one, but the, she really is smart. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, Sui Hoon uh, is truly our expert since she covers not only the financial services but also the information and communications technology sectors here in Singapore. The, the broader information and communication technologies industry and its synthetic ben synergistic benefits of combining the two industries is really the focus that we're here to talk about today. The marriage of the internet and venture capital frees up the necessary resources to drive innovation and needed infrastructure investments in Asia and around the world. Investment goals and matching opportunities are truly global. Helping match opportunities to investors has long been a goal of our organization as well. The U.S. government has supported many such efforts in the past, and we are increasing those efforts. Several speakers in the audience today have worked with, worked with us closely with my organization and others in the U.S. government, whether it was Ms. Anu Bardwaj, who I did not get a chance to meet, <laughs> uh, and who had worked with our U.S. Department of Commerce private equity venture capital certified trade missions in the Nordics and Middle East, or Mr. Jason Best, over there, <laughs> who has uh, supported our crowdfund, whose crowdfund capital investors provided support to the State Department's Global Entrepreneurship Program. We continue to work closely with the private sector and other governments to target investments where they will do the most good. Just last week, we began planning for an Asian financial services, ASEAN uh, financial services trade mission to Singapore and Indonesia that will come in the spring of 2015. I do feel somewhat humbled speaking in, alongside such recognized government leaders in the audience today, such as His Excellency Dr. Ken Chen Meda of Cambodia's Secretary of State for Posts and Telecommunications, or Dr. Vorapon of Thailand's Secretary General for their Security Exchange Commission. Equally as impressive is the many private sector visionaries who we will hear from today over the next two days who are helping our governments to develop laws and regulations to create a fertile environment for crowdfunding. Our governments are working together to ensure the necessary protections for reliable investors while thwarting those with malicious and malevolent intentions which would spin, siphon off funds from worthwhile endeavors. The gathering today really represents incredible potential. Just trying to list all the names of the many talented crowdfunding proponents sharing their expertise and insights today and tomorrow would keep me talking far too long. And, this is re and, that would, and thus reduce the time that they have for the real expertise. So I will conclude. In closing, 
the chance to the chance to represent the U.S. Embassy in Singapore at this event is important to me, as this year we'll celebrate the 10th anniversary of the U.S.-Singapore Free Trade Agreement coming into force. Indeed, the expansion of Singapore-U.S. cooperation in the fields of financial services and the facilitation of cross-border investment were both key outcomes of that trade agreement. The free trade agreement now serves as a solid basis for the Trans-Pacific Partnership and other multilateral uh, efforts underway within ASEAN, APEC, and other multilateral agencies to develop new levels of prosperity in the 21st century. I encourage all of you here today to take a close look at Southeast Asia. 2015 marks many important milestones and events which will repeatedly draw global leaders to the region. Singapore will mark its 50th anniversary of economic growth and independence in 2015. The Philippines will also host APEC, drawing investor attention to new critical infrastructure projects following the successful Mindanao peace process. Malaysia will host ASEAN, which will see the emergence of a more closely integrated ASEAN economic community in 2015. And the United States and Vietnam will mark 50, 20 years of diplomatic relations in 2015. I look forward to joining you all in marking these and many other important milestones in 2015 and seeing you again at Crowdfunding Asia 2015. Thank you.